The police union in Mount Vernon says a wave of officer departures is impacting public safety. The union gave our Tony Aiello a dramatic illustration of the issue involving the recruiting class of 2020. Watch. Mount Vernon welcomed these nine officers in May of 2020, fresh out of the academy. Three years later, eight of them are gone, joining other departments that pay substantially more. Nicholas Master Giorgio is the Mount Vernon PBA president. A lot of these officers come here and they love the work and they love making a difference in Mount Vernon. So they really want to stay here. It's just that financially it doesn't make sense for them. Base pay after five years for Mount Vernon police is $92,000 versus $133,000 in nearby Greenberg. The Mount Vernon PBA says with almost 90 departures and retirements since 2020, patrol cops here have on average less than two years experience. That's a major problem for public safety in Mount Vernon. To be sure, so-called badge drain is a problem for the NYPD and other departments. Chuck Wexler is an expert with the Police Executive Research Forum. We're hiring is down, resignations and retirements are up. There's a staffing crisis across the country. So what happens is, is when a department trains someone, they're more valuable to another department because they can immediately hire them and get them out on the street. Mount Vernon Mayor Sean Patterson Howard said in a statement, we are aware that our police department is the lowest paid in Westchester and has been without a contract since 2017. Responding to badge drain requires a multifaceted approach. Cops say a key facet is better pay, and they're hoping the mayor comes to the bargaining table offering a substantial raise. In Mount Vernon, Tony Aiello, CBS 2 News.